Don't forget to hit like, leave your comments, subscribe, and share this video. Why is the Philippines called powerhouse of beauty in the international beauty pageant? It is because the world of pageantry allows the Philippines to have a sense of sharing the stage with the rest of the world and uh, a sense of victory. The Philippines inherited the practice and promotion of beauty pageant from our colonizers, the Kingdom of Spain and the United States of America through the Santero culture or a living tradition of religious iconography. A number of victories and numerous placements in the major pageantry called the Big Four make our country the powerhouse of beauty in the international pageants. The Miss Universe organization, for example, it empowers women to develop the confidence they need to achieve their personal best. A candidate is a confident woman who has the power to make real change. Gloria Diaz Gloria Maria Aspia Diaz was born on March 10, 1951. She is professionally known as Gloria Diaz, a Filipino actress of film and television, model and beauty queen who rose to fame after being crowned Miss Universe 1969, becoming the first Filipino to hold the Miss Universe 1969 title. At the 18th Miss Universe pageant held on July 19, 1969 at Miami Beach Auditorium in Miami Beach, Florida, the United States. The same day, the first man astronaut Neil Armstrong landed on the moon, so she was asked during the Q&A portion, If a man from the moon landed in your hometown, what would you do to entertain him? Gloria Diaz gave a short but smart and witty answer. Oh, the same things I do. I think if he has been on the moon for so long, I think when he comes over, he wants to change. Gloria was crowned by Marta Vasconcelos of Brazil at the end of the event. Diaz became the first Filipino and the second Southeast Asian after a Pasra Sakula from Thailand to win the pageant, beating 60 other contestants from all around the world. Her victory was hailed by His Excellency President Richard Nixon, the 37th U.S. President, during his state visit in Manila and other Southeast Asian countries as well. Nixon said, The United States conquered the universe, but the Philippines has conquered the universe. Gloria Diaz, Miss Universe 1969 Margie Moran Maria Margarita Rojas Moran, who was born on September 15, 1953, is a professional known as Margie Moran. She is a Filipino beauty queen, actress, and peace advocate who was the president of Bali, Philippines, and is the chairperson of the Cultural Center of the Philippines. Miss Universe Margie Moran oses honestly in practicality as she answers a tough final question during the Miss Universe pageant held in Athens, Greece in July 1973. Miss Universe Question 1973 
Let's make believe that all of a sudden, you had a million dollars. What's the first thing you would buy and why would you buy it? A house in lot because it's the most expensive thing, I can't afford it. If I have a million bucks, I'll buy a house in lot and live by myself and other people, of course. Her response to the question has persuaded the judges to choose her to beg the prestigious crown. That same month and year in the Philippines, on July 27 to 28, national referendum was held wherein 90.77% of the citizens' assemblies voted for the ratification of 1973 constitution and the continuation of martial law as well as the continuation of President Marcos' term beyond 1973. Margie Moran, Miss Universe 1973. Pia Wurzbeck. Pia Alonso Wurzbeck was born on September 24, 1989 formerly known professionally as Pia Romero, is a Filipino model, actress, and beauty queen who is known for being crowned Miss Universe 2015 at the 64th Miss Universe pageant held at the Axis at Planet Hollywood in Las Vegas, Nevada, the United States on December 20, 2015. She joined Billy Binning Filipinas pageant three times and won in 2015 in her third attempt. During the top five Q&A, she was asked, Earlier this year, there were a controversy in the Philippines about the United States and reopening a base in your country. Do you think the United States should have a military presence in your country? Pia Wurzbach gave a very smart answer. I think that the United States and the Philippines have always had a good relationship with each other. We were colonized by the Americans and we have their culture in our traditions even up to this day. And I think we are very welcoming with the Americans and I don't see any problem with that at all. Pia Warsbeck answer landed her in the final top three to face the last Q&A challenge. The winner from the top three would wear the coveted Miss Universe 2015 crown that is believed to be worth 300,000 US dollars or roughly equivalent to 14 million pesos. Pia's answer during the top three question and answer portion, why should you be the next Miss Universe? And Pia was the answer. To be a Miss Universe is both an honor and responsibility. If I were to be Miss Universe, I will use my voice to influence the youth and I would raise awareness to certain causes like HIV awareness that is timely and relevant to my country which is the Philippines. I want to show the world, the universe rather, that I am confidently beautiful with a heart. Pia Wurzbeck, Miss Universe 2015 October 13, Ritsini Alexis Gamis won 2012 Miss Tourism International title holder December 6, Miss Philippines Angela Ong was named the 2015 Miss Earth in its coronation night held at the March Hell Vienna Austria making the first time in the pageant's nearly 15-year history that the country won back-to-back -back titles. December 31, Lerin May Bautista was crowned as the 2015 Miss Tourism Queen International. Katrina Gray 
Katrina Elizabeth Nyan Gray, who was born on January 6, 1994. A Filipino Australian is a professional model, singer, beauty queen, and television personality, youth advocate, and arts ambassador. In 2018, she pursued the beginning Filipino student Grace 2018 crown and won. Katrina won the Miss Universe 2018 title in Bangkok, Thailand, making her the first Filipino beauty queen to represent her country in both the Miss World and the Miss Universe pageants. Becoming Miss Universe is not just about beauty, it's also about being compassionate, intelligent, and an exceptionally good human being too. And this is reflected in Katrina's great winning answers. Canada recently joined Uruguay as the second nation in the world to make marijuana legal. What is your opinion on the regularization of marijuana? Direct to the point, she answered this question. I'm for being used for medical use, but not so for recreational use, because I think if people will argue, then what about alcohol and cigarettes? Everything is good, but in moderation. But the most applauded one is the final answer on Lesson on Life. She said, I work a lot in slums of Tondo, Manila, and the life there is poor. And it's very sad, and I've always taught myself to look for the beauty in it, to look in the beauty in faces of the children, and to be grateful. And I would bring this aspect as a Miss Universe to see situation with the silver lining, and to ask us where I could give something where I could provide something as a spokesperson. And this, I think, if I could teach also people to be grateful, we could have an amazing world where negativity could not grow and foster, and children could have a smile on their face. Thank you. Miss Universe 2018, Katrina Gray. During that year, minor pageants were held and gave honor to the country. Philippines, the powerhouse of beauty. Don't forget to hit like, leave your comments, subscribe, and share this video. Thank you very much.